Welcome back to Time to Talk. My name is Nigel Christopher. There are many reasons why a person should join a political party, a political organisation, or even a political pressure group. I'm finding out why more and more people are choosing to join the British Democrats. I joined the British Democrats because of the initiative of Peter Phillips, who is often forgotten now. It was his initiative in drawing together a dozen, possibly a score of people, arranging a meeting and providing the initial impetus. And we met several times. We drew up a constitution with the uh, able guidance of Adrian Davis, an experienced barrister, which ironed out many of the problems which had arisen in previous formations of uh, the leadership, the executive having far too much power. I thought that the British Democrats provided a home for me in that the policies were right, the strategy of, com of uh, contesting elections was right, as opposed to parties which believe in marches and demonstrations and so on. I felt that it had the ideal combination of the correct strategy and the correct tactics. And that's why I feel at home with the British Democrats. And fortunately, more and more people are thinking along the same lines and joining it. Yeah, well, uh, for me, Nigel, it's simply because there's no alternative political party out there. You know, if you shop around, I looked at the what we call the mainstream parties, Lib Dems, Tories, Labour, maybe even the Greens nowadays. They simply don't reflect my own political judgments and aspirations. So I looked around at alternative political organisations, found the British Democrats, scanned through their manifesto and realised that they were more reflective of what I believe in, the values that I represent. Hence why I joined. I joined the British Democrats because it seemed the ideal party for me at the time. My previous party was in a spiral of decline, which seems to be the fate of most right-wing parties. Um, friends and colleagues had already joined the British Democrats, so I knew that it had good leadership, good policies and a good constitution. Um, so I also feel that the British Democrats is the ideal home for all those disaffected right-wingers that are out there. Um, it's a party that we can all rally around and let's hope we can do that. Um, I joined the British Democrats because I believe they are the most um, electable patriotic party in the UK. They have common sense policies, especially a policy, uh, an anti-immigration policy. Now, one of the main reasons we voted for Brexit was to curb immigration. But since then, it's got even worse. We've got people coming in on boats, illegal immigrants. They're put up in hotels. Um, last year, I believe, it was three quarters of a million legal immigrants that's causing enormous strain on this country, especially housing. Um, and uh, I noticed Rishi Sunak is giving away another two billion pounds to Ukraine. Uh, he says it's to protect their borders, but we can't even protect our own borders. Now, uh, when, he, when the government tries to do something, the courts keep knocking them back and they keep mentioning the same pieces of legislation. Uh, the UN, 1951 UN Refugee Convention, the Section 31 of the Immigration and Asylum Act, and the European Court of Human Rights. What Sunak and the Conservatives could do is repeal those pieces of legislation, but they will not do it. Now, Sunak has said repeatedly, we must make sure we meet our international obligations. And he said it today in the House of Commons. How about, how about the obligation to the people of this country? Um, so our leaders are completely out of touch with reality. So we need fundamental change in this country. So I say Rishi Sunak, Keir Starmer, Ed Davey and the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan must go and never come back. Thank you.